Hey, just got back from Heavy Montreal. Got the Heavy Montreal sunglasses that were given to me, along with tons of other things, sweatshirts, t-shirts, free tickets, catered meal uh, by the head chef, Chuck, up at Heavy Montreal. They do it up right with the festivals in Montreal, and Heavy Montreal is just incredible. So many great bands, uh, a bit tired. Uh, Emily and I slept like almost like nine and a half hours last night, which is unheard of. We're back in New Jersey now, but it was a exhausting weekend and exhausting in a good way so much fun highlights for me ghost of course interviewing tobias even though i had some technical problems listening back to the podcast which i just posted 822 i mean i think it sounds amazing i i gotta start using this cell phone for more interviews i think it sounded just as good as my uh 600 microphones and uh tascam you know Porta is thing, which is a piece of shit, by the way. I should have got the extended warranty on it because it's like two years later and the thing is not working correctly. So anyways, yeah, check out my interview with Tobias Forge of Ghost. It's seven minutes. I had 10 minutes with him, one of which was small talk when we first got into the trailer. Uh, another two of which was me trying to actually get a, a recording device to work. And three of great conversation. Uh, some questions I don't think he's asked quite, quite frequently. Uh, if ever. And I actually just heard from his publicist and they really uh, thought the interview was great. So there you go. I'm proud of it. Um, and Pearl is here too. Uh, my poor mom was uh, in the house with the two boys, eight and ten, and, and Pearl, the dog, who's, uh, how old are you, Pearl? Like eight months? And Ozzy, the old man dog, who's almost at this point more difficult than Pearl. But yeah, so I, I have no agenda here. I just wanted to say thank you to the Heavy Montreal people for giving us such a uh, amazing festival. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about my highlights. So Ghost, interviewing Ghost, um, seeing seeing Slash is always fun. I prefer him in the Guns N' Roses setting, but, I mean, Todd Kearns and, and uh, Fitz and all the guys in his band, Miles Ken Kennedy, they do a great job, and the crowd was going crazy. So much energy. Loved seeing Slash. So much that I'm going to see him again next week in Fort Wayne, Indiana, while I'm on vacation out there. Yeah, man, good stuff. Slash, always great. Uh, you know who really blew me away? Fu Manchu, a band I've been a fan of for a super long time, but have never seen live. What a crowd response. So great. Stay tuned for my interview with Scott, the drummer of Fu Manchu, as well as I, I think Bob is going to call me on the phone because I connected with Bob. Uh, we exchanged texts and we've been, uh, or phone numbers, and we've been talking back and forth. So the guitarist, Bob. But um, yeah, I have a video interview with Scott uh, Scott Reeder from Fu Manchu. Not to be confused with Scott Reeder from Caius and, and The Obsessed and Fireball Ministry. Different Scott. That's a bassist. Scott from Scott Reeder from Fu Manchu is the drummer. Yeah, so I'm um, just riffing here. Who else did I like? Yeah, Slayer, it was good. Of course, you know, I, I, I can't believe I'm still seeing Slayer when, like, a year and a half ago, I paid a bundle of money for their supposed last time that I was ever going to see them. And now I saw them in Montreal again. They're coming back through the New Jersey, New York area again, which I'm not going to go to. I'm, I'm done with Slayer. I thought they were done with me, but apparently the this is the farewell tour that never ends. Who else really blew me away up at Heavy Montreal? Um, I'm trying to think so much. I mean, I, I didn't see a bad performance, and we're talking dozens and dozens, but I'm just trying to think about, well, Kill Switch, always great. Kill Switch Engage, always great. Saw uh, Dirty Honey, also a great hard rock band of young, young kids in it, did an excellent job. So much great stuff, and every year I go up there and I say, I'm not gonna do a lot of interviews so I can enjoy the, uh, the festival. And, whoop, I just broke my, uh, oh, I got a hold in it. Uh, and, again, I, I, I was unable to fulfill that. I did, was able to say no to a few interviews, which is really hard for me to do, to say no. And I'm, that's something I'm working on. We're getting into therapy right now. I'm working on saying no, because I think saying no is, is, it's a powerful thing. And it, to me, when you say yes, it's immediate gratification. When you say some, oh yeah, well, let's go out for drinks. Yeah, let's let's do this. It, it, but then it, when it comes around, you're doing something that maybe you don't really want to do or have time to do or it's something that's not good for you because you can't say no to people. So my whole new thing is just say no. <laughs> but Heavy Montreal is something I will never say just say no to. 
a very boring video today. Pearl is uh, is ready to go. It's I did, They just said on the radio, the heat advisory is coming in about 45 minutes. They said, walk your dogs now. So I'm gonna do that. We're uh, trying a new trail today. New trail, Pearl, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready for the rest of the summer, man. This summer is flying by. Um, Fort Wayne, Indiana is where the next show will take place when we see Slash once again.